Uh, so cute animals. They're so cute, so cute. I could love them forever. I love them so much. They don't say anything, but they really mean that when they love you. Sometimes we humans say we love you, but we don't mean anything. Yeah. But the animals, they don't say anything. They just, they don't need to say anything. But inside, they send you the love, and it's so obvious that you could not miss it. Please continue watching to find out more. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic, Olasis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, and Thai. Chinchu 原住民村台湾福尔摩沙的文化全部出对台湾的发展贡献程度客家台湾福尔摩沙老中国大陆的文化融合在一起丰富又多年的文化老沙菲无论是宗教建筑和文化台湾样样齐全为泰吉家介绍青海无双时
，乌罕默德，祝你平安。哥，古鲁纳纳克，含有青岛。提强调，阿弥之爱，时时相念双体，为平日无私的奉献，遵行一作的立法。只会受到人类最高的高位，了悟来到天桥的目的。青海无双时，慈悲为怀，系非凡的廿四典范，接近难处难免，有浪汉，修在百相，哥需要帮助的人，本其物质哥近期的难处，用爱心。富贵大道。两千零六年，吉富版故事和平奖，两奖等同东方的诺贝尔和平奖。其作业的人头三项，多年来富版当多的奖项，得到些人当多当多的恶诺。其努力为通乌发生，提倡和平爱心的直播样式，其个许下宏愿，希望人类玷污众生诸神身，提出和平辉煌的存在世界，通乌让人类共存共流，其用各种方式创造存在神法，主张。方法传达，唔咩做得现实一样嘅神法，开始爱家国际连锁存在传达，无双师天师台，佢咪直接扶育政府老外地头家，佢系参加气候变迁咨询会议，唔论是人有冇见过，佢大兵影响世人千多，很想了到。现在三胎动物的惩罚，各奉行慈悲之托，天下因为永久太平，救地球免到气候变迁。青海无双时，多年来作家遍布全球，托美国到非洲，欧洲到太阳族，对太宗那家土地，共建开始数百场。讲述各种人性主题，更比有限老太一家播出，也不多一场类似的故事。师徒之间节目，提升世界，五千之一，两千空十一年，十一年之后，用英语讲一法国。Today I went to another house. Yes, and、uh, on the way I saw two dogs. Normally, when we pass by, they bark, but we drove so fast, so, so it, they didn't catch up. When I return,、uh, not my driving, but、uh, we return, they jump out of the gate, jump out their gate, and that guy he stood right in front of the car, not moving. But only the tails moving like crazy,、oh. <laughs> and not barking, eh? Not like aggressive or trying to stop me or try to guard the house or anything. No, no. He just stand there and staring at the two lights in front of him and not scaring nothing. Right in front, in the middle of the road, right in front of the car. Yeah. He just wants to say hello. <laughs> And、uh, he, of course, immediately the other one came out. Also, both stand in front and say hello <laughs> for a long time. <laughs> I said, "Okay, now we have to move, huh?" Uh, he don't move. And I, I normally have some、uh, dogs, veggie bone, in my car. But、uh, the driver, I told him to put in the front, but he put in the back already. And I can't open the door to come out because they are right at the door. Also, you see what I mean?、Mm. If I open, they would come to the door. And I'm not sure what their reaction will be. I'm right in front of their house, you know. What business do I do there? <laughs> so I had to take something, you know, like some cookies, and I throw it to the side so that the both dogs 
we'll go there so that I, we can move. Uh, yeah, they, they curious, they jump over there, sniff a little bit and come back again. <laughs> <sighs> Don't even taste it, you know? Just a reaction, you know, like fetch, and then they went immediately, but, and then come back. Oh. I say, I really have to go. I, I talk to them inside, you know, and they say they just want to say hello, long time no see. Yeah. Oh, and the love on their face and the love in their eyes. I cry. I cannot bear it. So lovely. And these are Rottweiler type, you know, they're not n nonsense messing up with you. <laughs> yeah, and if you go in their house, you know, you know Rottweiler, right? They only protect their family. No matter if their family are robbers or criminals, they protect them with their lives. And this type of mix on, and Rottweiler, you just stand in both there, wagging tail like crazy, you know, and just look at me and just wag tails. Don't say nothing. <sighs> Because a long time ago, I passed by. Uh, and I give them several times these uh, veggie bone, you know? <laughs> I remember when I give it, you know, a couple, he take two or three of them all together, you know, like a bunch like this, put it in his mouth, you know? Not just one, he knows what it is. <laughs> Immediately he go grab the bunch and then grab another and then put the whole mouth full. Uh. <laughs> And then he was looking at me and say, thank you with the tail, yeah? Uh, we talk with the mouth, dogs, we talk with tails. <laughs> and that was long, 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 long time already. I haven't been through that street again, that road again. And I haven't passed them by, you know? So today I just passed by so fast and they just bark, bark, bark. But I thought, okay, normally, dog barking. I don't even think he remember me. but. He meant business, so when we returned, he already jumped out in front of the car. The driver couldn't even, like, stop enough, you know. I, I didn't see him do that with other cars. And there also another car behind me afterward. They couldn't care less. They don't go to that car also and wag tails like this. They stand right in front of my car, keep wagging tails like crazy, and saying all this lovey-dovey stuff. You know, thank you, hello, and... You know, don't say much, just long time no see, hello, and <laughs> awakening tales, but you feel all the love from their beings, my God. And we drove away long, long way already, many kilometers far away already. I still feel their love, you know, sending all the way through. And I just keep, you know, my tears setting in the car. It's such a lovely feeling. And dogs like that make you feel good for many days, just, just to do that. Not even your dogs. I told my driver, oh, this kind of dog, I want to take them home immediately. I really want to come down, hug them, take them home, you know. Wanted to, but can as somebody else's dog, you know. Mm. <laughs> Such a lovely feeling. And dogs like that make you feel good for many days, just, just to do that. Not even your dogs. I told my driver, oh, this kind of dog, I want to take them home immediately. I really want to come down, hug them, take them home, you know. Wanted to, but can as somebody else's dog, you know. Mm. <laughs> Just two, two times or three times I passed by before and gave them bones, and he remembered like that. And such a love in his eyes, especially the older one, you know, the younger one is, is uh, just uh, tag, uh, tagging along. Also remember, but... I just also wag tails only, but this older one, you know, keep looking at me like he doesn't want to let go of my physical face. Oh, I just look and look and look and not tell. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, animals are so lovely. Yeah, in the mountain, uh, I have a little rat, you know? The first day I came, I didn't see him, but I thought there must be some rat or something around the house, so I gave some bread around the house, and then it's all gone. Next morning, birds also eat them. And then the day afterward, he came to say hello. He just came out of nowhere, stand right there, and wag his tails. What <laughs> kind of rat that wag tails, you know? Wag, wag tails. And it was very cold in winter, so I went out and buy him a little house. 
Yeah. And I put some uh, uh, tissue paper in it, you know. I don't. I didn't know where he, he lived. Oh, he, he doesn't make mess up my water system, though, because there's some uh, uh, water tank for water, for rain water, and they cover with canvas, so the, the, the rat hide under there. So after I took the canvas away, I realized that maybe he lived there because I see some evidence, you know. <laughs> they left evidence everywhere, these rats. Anyway, and then so I said, okay, I'm sorry. I have taken your home. I make you a new one, better even. Because even as a canvas, but the rain water, some would run through it, you know. But he liked it there, at least it's not windy and not wet. Normally not, unless it rains. And so I bought him a little house and put a tissue toilet in it. You know, like the toilet rolls, it has a hole in the middle. I took away the hard part, so it's all soft, you know. <laughs> Like this, yeah. The whole toilet roll I gave it to him. Yeah, I put it inside a big cup also to cover so that the the it doesn't get wet. And I put that in the house. And I put some uh, bread and some fruit outside. I thought he would never know what it is, but I put it there. Rat house. <laughs> <laughs> Rat's house. So. I say, I hope you can read English, man. <laughs> I didn't see him anywhere. I'm just talking to him inside, you know. Next morning I came out, all the bread gone and all the evidence is there. They're <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Animals, they're so cute, so cute. I could love them forever. I love them so much. They don't say anything, but they really mean that when they love you. Sometimes we humans say we love you, but we don't mean anything. Yeah. But the animals, they don't say anything. They just, they don't need to say anything. But inside, they send you the love, and it's so obvious that you could not miss it. But just to be sure, I asked my driver, did you feel the love from the dog or not? Or it's just me? I say, I just saw him wagging tails, that's it. <laughs> saw them wagging tails, that's all. He, he don't feel anything. <laughs> probably he was just, you know, concentrated on driving. And probably they don't project to him that much, you know, because I was the one who keep giving them bones and stuff, you know, a veggie bone, and they love it so much. So uh, I said to my driver, we miss it, but uh, when we return, we have to give them some veggie bones, even just hang it, you know, on the, on the fence, and they find it in the morning. My God, I love animals so much, so much, so much. I will see all the birds, you know, you just love them, you can't just help it, you just love them. Yeah. Okay, I don't know why I talk so much about that. <laughs> Tell me a story, yeah. What kind? <laughs> um, I had a girlfriend that um, we went to play golf with one day, and mm. on the golf course at one of the, the greens, there were three zebras on the greens. Zebras? Zebras, Master. How, yeah. how you play golf in a zebra's <laughs> house? No, um, the golf course was in a very remote place, so uh-huh. it was wildlife there. Uh-huh. And these three zebras came to the greens. Uh-huh. And my girlfriend saw this. She's a vegetarian. Uh-huh. And um, she saw this and she said, oh, my word, look, because she was also foreigner. She's from Sweden. And she was, like, really surprised to see the zebras so close. Uh-huh. She said, oh, but are they safe? I mean, can we go near? So I said, yeah, they're not um, vicious. They, you know, they're like horses. So I said, just play the hole and just be calm and you'll see, they'll stay quiet. And, yeah, yeah. and I said, they know we're vegetarian and vegan. Yeah. So she played her turn and the, the one zebra walked right across the green and she waited for him to walk across. And then after he stood on the side, three mm. of them stood there while we finished playing the hole. Yeah. And another time we were also playing golf and the swan, um, a huge swan, stood up and came and walked towards us at, on the golf cart. And she also panicked and said, oh, maybe he bites us. And I said, no, no, he won't, because he knows we're ve- vegan, vegetarian. Oh, and you're comes. not sure about that. <laughs> sai Sai scare me many times. Really? Oh, well, of course, because they have babies yes, at yeah. that time. They have eggs, yeah. you know, protect, protective parents. But he never beat me, though. He never. Yeah. He just do this kind of <laughs> macho stuff. You know, watch out, man, watch out. <laughs> But then never bite. I go so near, yeah. Even when they have babies, I'm as near as this. They don't do anything. Lovely, yeah. Only one one time when I tried to take the wooden stick out of the female, then she called him. And then he flew back with all his 
feather puff up and say, what's going on? <laughs> I said, no, no, I just wanted to help. Misunderstand, just want to help. And immediately he come down and he went to the water, go to the garden again. He didn't even stay to scare me anymore. Yeah. yeah. Just two seconds, like, yeah. No, and this, this swan, because mm. I remembered your story, Master, where you said he puffed up like this. Yeah, yeah. And um, he came right up to the cart and he didn't puff up, but he, I said to him, hello, beautiful. Mm. And his eye looked right at me, Master, and mm. you could see he really, he was looking with love. He understands. And when I said, hello, beautiful, he went like this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. neck up like He proudly. stood up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It's really gorgeous. They do that, they do yes. that. But, but they're also protective of me too. Yes. I told you a story, a many stories I cannot tell in one book, you know, but it's a very touching story. I told you it's a real story, yeah? Like, um, one time I saw a, a mother duck was very protective of her ducklings and then kind of harassing the other coot or something, yeah. And I was so shocked and very, uh, feeling very, very disturbed, you know. And I have nobody around there, so I talk to the Sai Sai and say, look, you see that? You see what she does? That's very bad, no? How can she do that? And then immediately he puff up, <laughs> fly to the duck, duck over there and circling around and like telling her off something. <laughs> but he didn't do anything to her. He just uh, kind of telling her off. And then he flew back to me, next to me, and feeling uh, macho. <laughs> <laughs> Bodyguard stuff, you know, he's very so cute, so cute. He understood everything. Yeah, I did not speak French to him. He's in front. <laughs> I speak English. He understood everything immediately. And at night when I camp out there, just not really camping. In the beginning, it's just a roof on top of my head. And then later it was so cold. I didn't believe it. Daytime, it was okay, lovely and sunny. It's springtime, but it's lovely and sunny. I thought I could bear it out with a sleeping bag. Oh, it's so cold, so cold. But he never, ever leave the water. Just now and then only to check up on his family. Oh, I don't know how he bears it. <laughs> but he always come to my tent. Even all night, you know, when he's hungry, he come. <laughs> I'm sure he's hungry all night. Eh? Or maybe the bread is too convenient and tasty. I don't know. Every time he come, all night, you know. And then I would feel that he comes. I know it. Even he doesn't say anything. The, the mood is one, don't say nothing. But I know he comes. And always I wake up and give him some food. Later, I'm too tired. I say, I put here the whole bunch of it. <laughs> you eat them <laughs> a little bit at a time. Don't finish it all one go. You have stomach ache, okay? He understood. He come and just take uh, one or two pieces at, at a time. Ah, they're beautiful. I can talk about animals forever. I'm not sure I can talk about human forever or not. <laughs> Although I love you, but wow, <laughs> what trouble I have to go through to love you. <laughs> okay, anything else? Chinese, huh? Uh, from New Zealand. New Zealand. Um, Master, I try to promote veganism at my school in New Zealand, and there's this one girl who um, isn't vegan yet, Mm. But she's eating a vegan diet, mm. and her sister is eating a vegan diet, mm -hmm. and her sister's child is eating a vegan diet. Oh, really? And her auntie is eating a vegan How diet. How come she's not? <laughs> no, she is. Yeah? She's eating a vegan diet, and her auntie's daughter is eating a vegan diet, and they're all on the way to being um, really vegan, and, oh. you know, like, completely in, wow. <laughs> in their entire lives. And her uh, sister and her auntie's... Husbands are being convinced slowly. As oh, well. okay. Wow, you so you're good. doing good, good job. Good job. Oh, it wasn't me. It was you. <laughs> well, you, you were there, no? I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> good job. Good job. Yeah, so young and already successful. Hmm? <laughs> Wait until you grow bigger, huh? <laughs> what will happen to the world? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Master. Because you're good, so they're convinced. Not only what we talk, but what we are, right? Yes, that makes people believe or not believe. Mm. Oh, I forgot. I wanted to ask he, uh, other people, how did you tell your wife in order to come here? <laughs> and we go into Africa and New Zealand, <laughs> France. 
I'm trying to stay as long as possible tonight so we can have a lot of talk and upstairs and downstairs and then talk to Supreme Master Television people later. Yeah, we were uh, we are planning to move from uh, uh, from St. Louis where we live. Mm -hmm. So so I told her if I come to see Master, I would move whatever state she wants to move. Oh. <laughs> Very clever. <laughs> Oh, wow. Does it have to be that way? You're selling me cheap, aren't you? <laughs> never, never. Yeah, but by the way, it's, it's more difficult for men, huh? because you don't know how to do it. You see, we women know. Look at all of them. Successful. <laughs> tell them how you tell your husband. <laughs> huh? But she's waiting to be initiated. Okay, I know that, but still, you know, you have to see her a little bit. You don't have to sell me. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> she oh. wanted to move to uh, another state, and okay. I say another one. She said this one. No, I say this one. Ah, I want but, to go to New but, Jersey. She's from Maryland. <laughs> okay, uh, but if you uh, she left, you come here, then you say anywhere, right? You go anywhere. We go, okay. we go Very good. Okay, okay. At least some point. Kuan 以及自愈。May your cheerful hearts be the wonderful instrument to serve others. For more details, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash BMV.